Welcome to the Press Box. I'm Ryan Thorburn, joined by Steve Mims. We're getting ready for Oregon's home game against Arizona on Saturday. Steve, Justin Herbert is back. Milk does a body good um, after missing the past seven weeks with a fractured collarbone. Oregon has their quarterback back in time maybe to make a late season push for a bowl and perhaps an eight-win season. Yeah, I think it's what everybody expected when he went out. You looked ahead and saw that bye week at week six and then could come back at week seven. It just sort of made sense. You know, there was some thought he could, could could be rushed back, but Oregon made the prudent decision and didn't. And you're right, it was important that they got that Utah win a couple weeks ago. It means that they don't have to go 2-0 um, to, to get to a bowl game. But yeah, I think it would be important for them to get these two, get to seven wins at least. That kind of assures you probably one of those Pac-12 bowls. If you only if you lose this week and even win the Civil War, you're going to a bowl game, but you might be getting shipped out somewhere. That sets up a really interesting matchup um, with Khalil Tate leading Arizona. Um, really an explosive, dynamic Michael Vick type of uh, quarterback. He's really taken the Pac-12 by storm. Some people are talking about him getting a trip to New York, uh, even though he didn't start the first four games of the year. Should be interesting to see how Jim Levitt and a bye week uh, how that preparation goes to stopping Khalil Tate. Yeah, it would have been nice to combine that Herbert and Khalil Tate season. You know, Herbert played the, yeah. the first month and then combine the stats that Tate brought in because, uh, you know, when Herbert was playing, Tate, nobody knew who he was, and now all of a sudden Herbert comes back and Tate's the quarterback everybody's talking about. So, yeah, you know, the Oregon just hasn't had many quarterbacks on the schedule this year that are a threat to run. We saw Manny Wilkins do some of that at ASU. So it will be interesting to see. that It's not a, a style they've had to really prepare for, and quite frankly, it's not a style they've been great at in the past. So... It's, uh, you, you look at Tate and you got to think they're going to envision some ways to be able to run him, find some openings, get him into the secondary and see if he can break some more long runs. This is a big game for Oregon, just like you mentioned, to try and get bowl eligible, get some momentum. Um, you kind of took a look at the bowl scenarios. What are we looking at here for the postseason if the Ducks beat these guys and or Oregon State? Well, I think that possibility brings in potentially the, the Cactus Bowl, but you probably need ASU to lose that. So that probably, you win both, you're probably in the Vegas Bowl or uh, excuse me, drops you into the Cactus Bowl there, which would be the, the last one. So that's probably the most realistic chance right now. The Vegas Bowl, you probably need ASU to lose. So those, and then people are starting to throw out armed forces and independence bowls and all sorts of maps. Like Pinstripe Bowl, there's been uh, kind of throwing some darts and Oregon seems to pop up. So like I say, I think if they win them both, they'll be in one, they'll work their way into one of those West Coast Pac-12 Bowl contracts. If they don't, then who knows where they end up. Well, uh, we'll take a look at this matchup uh, after the game with you guys. It's a 4 o'clock kick on the Pac-12 Networks. It should be a, a very highly entertaining game. Uh, Steve, do you have a prediction on the way out? I, I was going to pick Arizona, and then we had uh, Greg Hansen on our podcast, a columnist mm -hmm. down there, and he's like, Arizona has no Pac-12 players. It's all the Khalil Tate show. <laughs> so I switched to Oregon because I think they can find a way with Herbert to outscore him, but uh, I think it's going to be tough. Do you have Arizona or Oregon? I think I picked Arizona in the paper on Saturday, but it's sort of, to me, it, the question is, Herbert, if he, even if he's back, you know, is he fully confident back there, you know, or does he get a little skittish, worried about taking a hit, and the timing with some receivers, you know, some receivers that he didn't work with a whole lot in the past anyway, now he comes back. I'm interested to see just how the timing, and, and if he stands in there, you know, I assume he's not going to run as much. I know Oregon likes to say they don't worry about injuries, but I just can't imagine that. So you're going to change your game plan a little bit around there with him in there, and so I'm kind of fascinated to see just... Now that he's back, if he looks like the guy we saw those first five weeks or if, if the layoff has caused maybe kind of some struggles here the last two weeks. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. Thanks for tuning in.